guys and Happy New Year! I'm Crystal Jackson, President and Founder of Gala Unlimited. Thank you so much for tuning in for our first blog post of 2016's Unlimited Tuesday. So follow me as we have an interview with an awesome mixologist. Hey guys, so I'm here at the upstairs of the Ace Hotel in downtown Los Angeles and I'm very excited because we are here with... Hi, I'm Charlotte Boise. I'm an ambassador and mixologist with William Grant & Sons here at the Ace Hotel. Perfect, thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to have you here. So I've been following you for a while and I watch your series online. Thanks. So now if you can kind of explain your series to our viewers. Proper Call with Charlotte Boise is on smallscreennetwork.com and it's really like a how-to cocktail video. So each series I'll take a different cocktail, mm -hmm. uh, one of my recipes, and I'll explain a little background on how I came up with the cocktail. Usually it's a twist on a classic or some kind of seasonal inspiration. And then I'll demonstrate the cocktail explaining what I'm doing and why, what the ingredients are, and little tricks and tips so that people can replicate the drinks either at home or in their bar. So how long have you been in the bar industry? Yeah, I was bartending for a few years in London and then managed a bar for five years. And then after that, I was approached by the company Work For Now, William Grant & Sons, to move to America and work for them in the capacity of brand ambassador. What goes into being a brand ambassador for a major liquor distributor such yeah. as William Grant & Sons? There's no routine, there's no, no two weeks are the same. And then at the heart of the role, it's marketing. So it's about telling the story of our brands, getting people excited about our brand so they, if they want to go home and pick up a bottle of Hendrix gin and make cocktails and, and get involved a lot of education, a lot of public speaking, a lot of party throwing, cocktail creation. Oh god, what a hard job. I know. I'm so a sorry. A lot of travel too. <laughs> no, it's, it's tons of fun. It's, um, yeah, it's about building awareness for your brand. Okay, so what are some of the brands that you guys do represent? So I mentioned Hendrix Gin, um, and then we also have Single Malt Scotches, Glen Fiddick and the Balvenie. Um, Malabro Tequila from the Highlands of Jalisco, Grey for Vodka, which is Icelandic. Okay. Uh, Sailor Jerry Rum, we also represent Florida Pana, another rum from Nicaragua here in the US. Yeah. What are the three key factors in making an excellent bartender? Um, so I think bartending is really like a people person's job. You have to enjoy socializing and you know being with people and talking to people. Um, so being social is one. Being patient as well, um, you know, you're there to make sure the guests have a good time, so it's not necessarily about you and your needs and how you're feeling and what kind of day you had, it's all about them, so kind of being patient. So what are the three don'ts in being a bartender, like the no-nos of a bartender? A lot of bartenders are OCD, right, so mm -hmm. everything has to go back in its place. If the reason is if someone's working next to you, when things get super quick, you don't even think, you don't look, you just grab because you know where the you know where are and you're in the moment. Um, so, bartenders, if, if you're not neat and tidy, chances are you're not going to make a good bartender. Okay, you heard that, guys. So, <laughs> but since we are here and you are here in LA and you said you do a lot of modern cocktails out yeah. here, um, if you could just go ahead and let us know what you were showcasing today at yeah. the Friends with Benefits event. Start here. This one closest to you is the Alaskan Sour. Okay. It's um, based on a classic gin cocktail called the Alaska. Uh, but I've made it into more approachable, more refreshing drinks. So it has Hendrix Gin, yellow chartreuse, fresh lemon, a bunch of simple orange bitters. And you'll see the froth comes from the use of an egg white, so that makes it nice and fluffy and light. And the egg white's really there for texture, it doesn't affect the flavor. And then we have the Richmond Gimlet. This is Raper Vodka with a black peppercorn simple syrup, fresh lime juice, and then fresh mint. So this one is a little more zippy and zesty and kind of sharp and crisp. Okay. Nice and refreshing. Black pepper corn freshman. Okay. <laughs> what do we have there? Next to that, so this is an interesting one. This is a clarified skier punch, which I should explain. Skier is like an Icelandic yogurt. I was looking, I was yeah. like, what is a skier? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of similar to Greek yogurt that it's a little firmer. Anyhow, what I did is I clarified it. It's a 24 hour process, an intense sort of filtration bag. What it does is it removes the solids from the yogurt and you get a clear liquid from it. So you have all of the creaminess and the flavor of the yogurt, but none of the texture. So it's 
exactly like you said. Creaminess, absolutely, but it's not like a heavy cream yeah. drink. I'm so excited to try that as well. And what is this pretty one? I mean, we are here in the winter, but you just took me to you yeah. know, summer in Jamaica with this. Right, <laughs> so we got to have a bit of fun, right? With exactly. The so this one is served in a half coconut shell. This is the Balmeni 14-year-old Caribbean cast single malt. It's one of the most beautiful scotches that have ever been made. So I was audacious enough to mix that with a coconut ice cream, fresh pineapple juice and Angostura bitters in a blender and I poured it. Don't tell anyone I did that. Because <laughs> it's really cheeky but delicious. So I do have to ask the question because thank you so much for coming here to LA. Yeah. What has the best cocktail scene? You are originally from London. Yes. You live in New York. Yes. And you come to LA often. So we're gonna put you on the spot. Oh, you are putting me on the spot. You know, the, the three cities have all have great cocktail scenes, and they're all a little bit different. Um, you know, New York is the home of the cocktail, so historically it's uh, really uh, wonderful to go there and see the bars and understand where cocktails came from, mm -hmm. and they really do the classics very well. Um, LA, you come out here and you really see the influence of like the farmer's market and California Fresh. Um, and the service is great, the hospitality industry out here is so vibrant. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, London with its finest <laughs> style and beautiful hotel bars and truly innovative new ideas, I think, you know, you're going to think I'm biased, but I think London fits it still. Okay. Alright, so London becomes more polished and you said it's, it's kind of your home. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that has something to do with it. But no, it's, they're all three are great. These are absolutely amazing. Thank I'm you. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for allowing us to steal you for a minute. And then don't forget, of course, the proper call with Charlotte Boise on the schoolscreennetwork.com. Thank you so much again. Thank We're you. really excited. Definitely join us next time here on Unlimited Tuesdays.